<clears throat> Chase, I Speed really fuck Wolf, suck Fuck, I fucked it up. <laughs> God damn it. All right, I'm going to try it again. All right, all right, all right. Okay, all right. okay. Take two. Spade, you all suck. God damn it, I fucked up again. Okay, uh, one more time. I all suck. What? Okay. All right, all right, one all right. more time. You got this. Spade, you suck compared to all of us. To all of you? Yeah, everyone watching and me. Okay, okay. I was just wondering, are you... Uh, all right, so... You're ready for the podcast, Chase, right? No. Tell me! Are you ready? Oh, you'll find out. I'm about to hang up the call. No! You can't do that! You're supposed to summon the call. But I don't want to summon a call. I don't have a call in my deck. Well... Literally, I just reached for one of my decks, and I was just like, okay, I don't have a trap card to get one. Huh? Can you trap a call? With a trap card. Huh? Can you trap a trap a call with a trap card? Is that well? There is a trap card called Call the Haunted. Ha! I knew it. Except I don't use it because I have. It, it just is a slow card. Eh, monkeys. No. No. Card games. On motorcycles. No, at tables. What? But it's so much cooler when there's motorcycles involved. But no one plays them on motorcycles. They should have tournaments where they play card games on motorcycles. I'm pretty sure that'd be extremely dangerous and everyone would probably die. <laughs> <laughs> ah, silly children's card game. On motorcycles. No. Oh. Okay. Let's continue to play them on tables. What if we would play Pokemon on motorcycles? How about we just play it at home? Like, like, like a motorcycle that would have Wi-Fi connection. Or maybe we could do like if we would ride together with infrared connection. How oh. about we just not do any of that? That sounds really stupid. Man can have dreams, can't he? No. No. Not anymore, he can't. Okay. And now that that's over with... Use it statistics! Yay! Never heard of that in my life. What are we doing? I don't know, but I'm gonna send you porn. Okay. It better be that good quality porn. If you're sending me that shitty ass porn, I'm gonna sue you. Okay. Yeah. Alright, I'm suing you. So long. Eh, I need to open that too. Alright. All right, then the smoke on page. Yep, I gotta is... shoot you now. I'm sorry, Spade. Actually, I'm not sorry. You're not you're sorry. Su yeah, you're being sued. Okay, we need to do like a battle for the money that I can give to Chase when he's suing me. With yeah, one million dollars. There you go. Yeah, because you, you, you guys did the the battle for a plane ticket thingy, so <clears> I'm gonna do one <throat> for you suing me. That sounds good. Yeah, that works. All right, all right. I'll all right. even help you stream for it. Awesome. <laughs> ah, you're a true friend. I know. Ah. Show you that help you make money to give me money. Yeah, that, that works. Makes sense. Logic. <laughs> ah, logic and stuff. I love logic. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, logic on motorcycles. No. That doesn't really work. Motorcycle, logic. Yeah, true. Doing anything besides riding the motorcycle would go beyond logic. Half the time riding a motorcycle is beyond logic anyways, so... Yeah, I don't know. Whatever. I think it, it'd be cool. Anyways! Um, um, yeah, those statistics and stuff. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, me neither. I actually made that myself now. The thing with the changes, because nobody you made must have no life. Yeah, it took me ten minutes! Damn it! No life. Indeed. Um, anyways. The top five looks pretty much the same. We got Politoed Scissor... Actually, it's exactly the same, as a yeah. matter of fact. Yes. Ferrothorn. Politoed Scissor, Ferrothorn, Dragonite, and Heatran. Yeah, go Heatran! Still staying up there. I'm surprised the Heatran is still that high, but I guess... People are crazy. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 
And Tyranids are rose a bit. It took a little bit of a dump with all the rain going on when everything got released. But people are finding out how to play around the rain abuse lately, because you'll see later in the list a couple things, so I guess yeah. people are just playing around the rain abuse well enough, so t is able to get this niche back. Yup, yup, yup. And then we got uh, Jirachi fell one, okay. Which is kind of weird. Yeah. I expect Jirachi to go up more, if anything. Yeah, because freaking tornadoes and stuff. But tornadoes actually well, drops quite a not bit. Not just tornadoes, but just the fact that it's usable in almost any team. So it's like, you'd think with all of its versatility, it'd get higher. but And just how useful it is in this metagame right now. But, eh, oh well, it's still yeah. in the top ten. Yeah. Gliscor stayed the same. Eh, it's Gliscor. Basically. We have to talk about interesting things about Sand Whale and Gliscor and those stuff later on. I guess you know what I'm talking about. No, nope, no idea what you're talking Sand about. Sand Whales! What about whales? Anywho. Uh, Breloom fell too. Eh. I guess just people are all like counter trying to ca make their teams counter Breloom so much that it's like, ah, oh, Breloom's locked out so much, but at the same time it's still good, but there's locking up more and more. Oh man, I, I used the Jolly Choice Bandit Breloom earlier today, and holy crap, it like, uh, I one-shot at a glide score, well it had two couple Stealth Rock hits already, but with four yeah. hits, that thing went down, and I was like, wow. Oh. <laughs> that Maybe thing is so powerful. Oh. Yep. Oh. <clears throat> wow. Well, you know, we have never been professional with this. So, yeah, uh, I'm sitting here uh, eating uh, pizza and drinking root beer. I don't think I'm very professional anyways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't care and I don't know. I bet some people care. Well, Chase, why are you being so evil? I've actually gotten people before who have complained so much about me burping in my videos that they've threatened to unsub, and I think a couple people actually have. They're like, oh, you're so gross. And I'm like, sorry, I'm performing a bodily function. <laughs> it's like, I'm sorry, I have to drink something before I narrate, and then I burp. Oh, my but, fucking but, but God. But Chase, as a YouTube narrator, you should drink water. Water. What's that? It, 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 it's professional drink. You wouldn't know. Anyways. Yeah, I'm not professional. Yeah, yeah, there's that. Um, anyways, yeah, Breloom. Eh. Yeah, Breloom. It's Breloom. It's still good, but I can see why it's dropping a little bit. Just a little bit, though. Yeah, but people are also kind of like talking about, you know, suspecting Breloom, but uh, we'll see I can that. still see that happening, because it's still centralizing yeah. to yeah. that point, but... Like, I mean, nothing can for... switch into it. Like, yeah, like, the only things that potentially can are, like, Dragonite. Yeah, and then you can, like, put those things to sleep. Yeah. You... So, like, in the hands of a professional player who knows what he's doing, or she, for that matter, you know... What's a girl? Can... I, I don't know. Girls with Pokemon, that doesn't happen, right? Anyways, yeah. uh, blah, blah, blah. Starmie went up one. Yeah. Oh boy. That's the first rabbit spinner in the top 10, right? Yup. Yup. So, it, it works. Sarmi, it's a cool dude. Yeah. It's a cool dude, cool dude. I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, men's went up three. Okay. It's, it's, people are finding out its uses more. It's a good Pokemon, but uh, it's pretty nice. Especially, like, with the Genesect abuse lately. I mean, if people are able to get. A Scarf Men's going, or a Plus One Men's going, it can really work around Genesect well enough, so I guess that might be why also. Yeah, Genesect should be coming up soon. Yep. soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, what else do we got before that? Uh, Fortress, yep. up three. Mm. I've been seeing Fortress a lot more. It makes sense, but at the same time, I just don't like using it. Yeah, it's still the same old good old Fortress, but uh, Rabbit Spin, still Frogs. Eh. Yeah, it's not my thing, but I can understand why other people like it. Yeah, yeah. I guess it works with the rain teams as well. Basically. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, Rotom Wash uh, dropped one. Now it's number 13. Honestly, I'm still surprised it's still low. Like, and I can understand because of Breloom, but then for the rest of the shit, it's like you'd expect it to 
go up more, but I guess, I don't know. Yeah, wasn't Rotom, like, at top five at at the time when we had, like, black and white metagame kind of, like, yeah. balance out? Rotom was, was like, top three. Yeah, it was, it was usually there, because it, it, it was the guy who went, to like, on every team. It just worked. Yeah, I mean, Rotom still works really well, because it can still check the Therian forms well enough, but I guess Breelum's influence is just too much. Yeah, I, I guess, I guess. Now we got Jirachi as the guy who goes to every team. Oh, yeah, so. of course. Well, not not exactly. Probably, like, the guy that goes on almost everyone's team is, like, just well, looking at Scissor. Scissor or Ferrothorn, but Jirachi yeah. still can but, be Yeah, th those guys were there, but only thing that has changed is that Rotom dropped down. So yeah. That's kind of interesting. Rotom is still very usable. Like, don't nope. underestimate it, but yeah. he's played a bit better. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then, after that, we got Genesect, number 14. And that is only in the span of a couple weeks. You yeah, that, that's that. pretty impressive. It came out on the 11th, I think, mm -hmm. or something like that. So it got about three weeks of usage, and uh, it made its impact really quick. But I, I'd expect to, Tom, honestly, almost get up to the top 10 by next month. Yeah, it, it will probably now. That is I know, like, time. right now, it's probably just more hype for it, but, <laughs> like, it's just, it's that good of a fucking Pokemon that it will get to the top ten, even though a lot of the usage right now is just hype. I think a lot of it will carry over. Yeah, it will, because, yeah, it's just so good. Holy crap. What kind of sets have you seen around, like, Rock Polish and Choice Scarf? I... Mainly those, like, I've been thinking about, honestly, maybe running a, uh, Expert belt set because uh, PK used one at the PMP tournament and it was interesting thing to do because he could bait it really well in certain points, you know, and make it work. But I don't know. It's like it. There's also one other set I saw that I thought was kind of interesting running a uh, mixed home claws set with a uh, oh. X Scissor Blizzard and Zap Cannon. Oh wow! That's that's yeah. that seems could be interesting. <clears throat> mixed wall breaker. Eh, why not? Yeah. Zap, zap cannon. But <laughs> hey, why but, not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All what right, kind uh, of sucks is that Genesect doesn't get fire blast, but it gets flamethrower. It's like because it gets thunder and it gets blizzard, but it doesn't get fire blast. It's like okay, that's random. <clears throat> but I don't know. Well, I don't really know. Like, what do you usually run? Do you run flamethrower or like T ball or ice beam as your last move? preferred because let's see you run bug buzz you turn and then you usually run like ice beam and then the last slot is whatever but it's like either, in the last three thought slots it's a cycle between flamethrower um thunderbolts and ice beam i mean i usually run flamethrower ice beam personally mm. but if your team needs it and then run thunderbolt but yeah and then also you could run hp ground but it's like it, is it really worth it in the end most of the time you know yeah there are other ways to take down like heat honestly and stuff. I expect Dugtrio to get a bit more usage with Genesect being so high. I think that Dugtrio could make a small comeback. I think it has risen a bit, but not as much as you may think. I I'm not saying it has yet. I'm just saying that Dugtrio could see a lot more usage with Genesect being around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, with Genesect, I think there will be a return of Volt Turn teams too. Which might also mean a rising Rotom usage and uh, yeah. a couple of... And now with, you know, all the Genesect type, of course, people are kind of also talking about Genesect, you know, going to Ubers or suspecting that, which, I don't know. It's, see, I could see that entirely possible, but at the same time, I think it might be able to stay at OU, because it's still got plenty of decent checks, you can still deal with it, but it's still just like one of those quote-unquote powerful threats, you know? It's yeah. a very powerful threat, but... Like a lot of powerful threats, they're checked well enough and countered well enough that they can stay. Now, will Genesect stay at that point? We don't know yet. For now, yes. But in the future, we don't know yet. Yeah, what do you usually use yourself to try and counter that thing? It's like, it's um, kind of, it's just it really difficult to deal with because it has that versatile move pool, and then it also has view turn to gain that momentum and just escape. Your counters. No, honestly, I don't fucking know how I play around it. Like, I just am like, hey, it's a Genesect. Oh, hey, I killed it. 
Like, one thing I do like using, uh, one thing that does work is Jirachi and Rain can really take on Genesect well enough. But it gets two KO'd by a plus one bug vise. Jirachi, specially defensive. Like, I had a match and I couldn't switch into it. Like, I switched Jirachi directly in and I got two KO'd by it. Or it was like a thunder <laughs> and a bug vise. But they're. I don't know. It's like, there are ways to deal with Genesect. We'll figure them out as we go on. But for now, it's just. It's good, so be prepared for it somehow. I don't know, it's like, I, I just am like, hey, it's a Genesect, I somehow kill it, cool. Yeah, no, well, I guess it's kind of frail, and, uh, you know, entry hazards are really well, good against it. Well, it's actually got pretty decent bulk, if I remember correctly, let me check. Yeah, right but, uh, like, it has pretty low, like, 95 defenses, right? But it has pretty yeah, low... Yeah, base 95 low. defenses, but then it does have a low HP stat of 71. Yeah. And, it, so, uh, I mean, that'll hold it back a little bit, but it's still good. And, like, entry has it, and, you know, it's kind of difficult. Yeah, the entry switch. has really wear down Genesect, so you got to make sure that you either have a spinner or you just play it right, but it's still a good mon, basically. Yeah, but it, it still kind of has, you know, issues like switching into, like, well, I it can take a few neutral hits, but uh, yeah. you know, that's, that's about it, so, you know. You just got to play it right, essentially. Yeah. When you just play it right, it's a great Pokemon. That's it's an amazing a, Pokemon. Yup. And after Genesect, we got good old Latios. That went up one, so now it's number 15. Oh boy. Honestly, Latios, I expect to go down a little bit more now. Yeah, but... you, you have awesome Genesect with the freaking better move pull, essentially. Also, speaking of Genesect, I think I uploaded a showdown video where I did, like, half to a Blissey with a plus one U-turn, I think it was. Or yeah, that's, that's, that, that's crazy. Oh. But, yeah, like I said, Latios, I expect that to go down a little bit more just because Steel types are getting more and more rampant. And with Genesect coming in, it's going to be fucking threatening as hell, so. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But, yeah, Latios, other than that, it's good old Latios. We'll see, we'll see. Still Latios, so still whatever. Yeah, after that we got Nine Tails that went up six. So, people yeah. are using more I've sun. I've been seeing now. a lot more sun lately. Like I said, people are starting to work around that rain abuse. Mm -hmm. So, they're learning how to tailor uh, sun to beat rain. But, obviously, sun is still the most popular thing out there. Or, not sun, rain, rain is still the most popular thing out there, but... Same thing with Titar, they're tailing their shit to be able to take on range as fun and be able to function well. So it's just a more of a matter of time before people truly do get it all squared away and figured out. Yeah, exactly. But uh, so, still uh, kind of surprising how much Nine Tails went up now. Is yeah, eh, there isn't really much any like new stuff going on for it. But yeah, I guess like you well, said, I guess you Genesect know, coming out is something about it too. So. Yeah, I, I guess some people are using Genesect in the sun as well. Well, no, I meant Nine Tails to help beat Genesect, but okay. Uh, but yeah, there's that, but <laughs> like I, I at least know like a few people who have tried that. I don't know. Like you have Flame Trower, but other than that, eh, I don't yeah. know. Whatever. Yeah. Well, anyways, after that we got Gengar that went up too. That's still old, good old Gengar, sub disable yeah, and pain split and whatever you have. <clears throat> Yeah, it's Gengar. That's all you can really say about it. Yeah, it's kind of a poke that you can throw. Oh, you since 1998. There you go. Yeah, pretty much. It's going to stay there. And <laughs> after that, uh, we got Terrakion, who stayed Nothing. at place 18. Yeah, Terrakion's so. still good. I mean, there are the Therian forms, there is Breloom, but it is still able to get the job done very well. Yeah, nothing can really safely switch into it still, so... Yeah, plus Trakion can check De Genesect pretty decently, so that's something, I guess. Yeah, true. It does resist, like, U-Turn and Flame Power and, uh... Well, it can take oh, Ice us. Beam, Ice Beam and, uh... uh T-Ball, Yeah, so... so it, it can take on Genesect's general move pool, so... Yeah. There's that. <clears throat> Yup. After that, we got Tornado Theria. Probably which... the surprise of the whole usage, but yeah, down it... nine. Down nine. That's huh. Kind of interesting. Honestly, I'm kind of surprised by that too. Like, shit. 
<laughs> yeah, like people are talking about, you know, uh, tornadoes. It's one of those are uh, being possibly suspected as well. Yeah, and it's been a huge meta game shifter, so you'd expect it to be a bit higher. And I can't really explain why I go down. I guess people are, like I said, tailoring against rain, so people are just more and more being able to check and counter them, and it's just that they're falling short, I guess, or something. Yeah, and I guess maybe people are just trying to figure out ways to counter it so they don't use that themselves, but they just try to figure out, yeah, ways to counter it, so I don't know. Because, you know, yeah. it's the biggest threat in the meta game right now, so uh, you want to find ways to deal with it, but uh, still kind of surprising. Yeah, but... Still a great Pokemon, so it's... Yeah. Yeah, it, it's more pool. It has, like, everything it basically needs. And uh, good bulk and regenerator and uh, oh. everything. I guess maybe with also Genesect being there, just the Choice Scarf set to check it. I mean, that might influence it a little bit too, but... Eh. Yeah, true, true, true. Uh, I like, I was using uh, Naive Choice Scarf Genesect and... Uh, I was trying to revenge kill a Tornadus earlier today, actually, with Ice Beam, and it lived with, like, a little knob, even after the Stealth Rock damage. And I was, That's like, nice. super pissed. Ugh. That actually made it into an interesting game, but, like, it's the bulk that it has. I didn't get the special attack boost, of course. But, like, oh, I was... you didn't get it, and that's kind of why. Yeah, but, but still, like, after Stealth Rock damage, a super effective hit from Genesect, but still no. Still no. Uh, but yeah, it's just the good bulk that it has, so. Anywho. That's Tornadus for ya. Then we got Mamoswine, which dropped a bit. But, uh, I guess just because people are finding ways to deal with Mamoswine somehow, it's just like whatever. Plus, I guess with the Therians going down, people are using Mamoswine less and less to having to need to check them, so. Yeah, that anti meta game. It's so much needed when those meta game guys are going down a bit too, so... Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's basically what Mammoth Swan is. It's just fucking, uh... Anti-meta. So I guess with the meta taking a small turn, it's like Mammoth Swan isn't as needed. Yeah. It's still a good poke, and now it has, like, the thick fat going on for itself, so... Yep, that's thick great. fat, stealth rock, ice shard, and icicle crash. And superpower can all be on the same moveset. Yeah. And you probably want to have that EQ somewhere, but it uh, depends <laughs> on your team. Yep. yep. No, it doesn't depend on your team. You want EQ for sure. Yeah, but then, like, superpower, and then you want to have those... Like, you kind of have to decide, like, you want to have uh, Icicle Crash yeah, and it's Ice like Shard. The, the and... cycle, it's more the cycle of Icicle Crash, Superpower, and Stealth Rock, like, what you want in your set at the time. Yeah, yeah. So Because, kinda... like, you need Earthquake and Ice Shard, so... Yeah, those are the moves main moves, so, yeah. But, after that, we got a Tentacruel, which dropped one. People are just using Starmie more as a Plus, type of thing. Plus, the thing is, like, after Stealth Rocks, Tornadus can three, or two a KO uh, Tentacruel, so that's something to consider. Yeah, but Tentacruel does carry Protect, usually. But, True, then again, but... still, still, still. If you have taken, like, a couple Stealth Rock Switch in, or if it's, like, oh, it's a game, problem. man, yeah. you know. But the thing is, like Nothing I said... Nothing is safe from Tornadus. Yeah. So, yeah. But... It, it's... Tentacruel is just, like, meh, whatever. Meh, meh, meh. And meh. after that, uh, we got Brother Thunderous, which also dropped 9. So... It, it's... Again, people are just finding out the ways to deal with it, and it's just also becoming more and more just like, eh. But also, I think the reason for the Ethereum forms dropping is a little bit is because, like, a lot of people are more and more trying to figure out what else they can do in this metagame, so they want to explore more, but they'll revisit them sometime. I think might also be the issue. Yeah, we'll see. But, but really interesting to see how this is going to balance out with these guys. Thunder is another poke that is possibly being suspected. Yeah, the original uh, we'll bond already, already Ubers. But like Life Orb, Modest T Ball, that like two hit KO is a Rachi. Yeah. So it's, uh... I've been running that agility agility set a bit, and uh, yeah, it still packs a power even if you like you don't have nasty blood in there. So yeah, a good poke, good poke. 
Not bad at all. And after that, uh, we got Infernape, which went up one. It actually that switched places with Volcarona. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. But, yeah, so nothing much to say about those. Still kind of the same and with the Sonic. Yeah, it's just like, Volcarona. okay, they just change a little bit. I mean, Volcarona, I expect, with Sonic to going up, I expect Vol Volcarona to go up a bit more, but I guess it's just not right now. Yeah. It was good times when Walker Owner was suspected. But it oh, did. boy. <laughs> uh, but, anyways, that's about that. 25, we got Skarmory. That thing dropped four. Yeah, um, let's see. Tornadoes wrecks it. Genesec wrecks it. Uh, Raindrachis are starting to wreck it. It's just that a lot of things are beating Skarmory these days. So. Yeah, true, true. Doesn't have that much going on for itself at the moment. It's a good physical wall, but that's about it. And when you hit it with those all those special attackers, tornadoes, thunderous, and yeah. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh man. Then we got Espion. That went up five. What happened? No clue. I could not tell you why people are using Espion. I do not think it should be up that high though. Yeah, I guess mm, we don't have any like other like wall kind of pokes raising too much. Oh, there was that fortress a bit, but, but like it's just the thing is with Espeon, it's just there's too much working against it personally. I think, but yeah, like, you can't even switch into those things safely because you got like Ferrothorn and Fortress Gyro balling, and it loses like half of its health. Hey, if so, that's their prerogative, go right ahead and do it. That, that's the magic word you have been using lately. Say it again. Prerogative. Yop. There okay. we go. The so magic that, word. If that makes you happy, sure. Say Burungero while we're at it. No. Eh? No. Aww. That's just a word. Why would anyone ever say that word? Because old school black and white stuff. I don't know what you're talking about. You need about. to remember those good times. No, I don't. Yes. You need to remember the bad times. The bad times? Yep. But Espion. Still kind of random. I don't know. Basically, it is. I I don't see it. It's the odd it's, bird in the middle. It's, it's Espion. I can't really condone it or deny it. I don't know. Maybe it's, there's some, like, good team builder thingies, like Smogan. I don't know. Like, R RMTs with it. I don't know. I haven't seen any lately, honestly, but who knows? Maybe, maybe not. But Hipster Espion, number 26. And after that, we got Mephesto's favorite, uh, Gyarados, that dropped two. I actually met Mephesto IRL. He wasn't that bad. Wasn't that bad? Did yeah. you sweep him with a Gyarados? No. You should have tried. I don't use Gyarados, though. You should have. But Mephesto... I was trying to win money, Spade! I'm not going to fuck why? around with money's at stake. Well, why didn't you have more money? I don't know. Yeah. What does that have to do with anything? Well, what does it have to do with the tournament that you can, you know, win with money? <laughs> okay, the point was, I was trying to win money. Yeah, but with money, you could buy yourself back as many times as you wanted. So, with money, you could... I only bought myself back once so when you Yeah, tournament. not that bad, but yeah. I shouldn't be talking. I wasn't even there. And they did what they had to do. No. No, they didn't. They just randomly, you know. They were like, hey, what's up? How are you doing? Money. Anyways. Uh, off um, the Gyarados, Gyarados. Wait, which is kind of random. Oh, Gyarados went down too. Okay, it's Gyarados. I, 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 I could, I've actually saw a couple Gyaradoses when I was laddering one time, but then it's like... I wrecked him, so I was just like, okay, what was the point of this? Yeah, it's not really that threatening, to be honest. And yep. even new Genesect, you know, it has t for forward. Yeah. Nothing's going on good for Gyarados at the moment. Still going to be OU for a long time. Yeah, hasn't Gyarados been OU since 1998, too? Let me check. I'm going to check. Or Hold was on. it? It probably had a... You know, it didn't have Dragon Dance and all that stuff. 
It was UU you, and uh, no! you. Oh, Gold and Silver was still UU, you, you, and then Ruby came OU. Yeah, because th then they introduced Dragon Dance. Yeah. Yeah, so that was that. Little history on Gyarados. Huh. Now I know. And now but, yeah, for the first two gens, it was just a mixed attacker. <laughs> ah, mixed Gyarados. Uh, I was, once I, when I was being a hipster, uh, or Richie Fack, I used the special Gyarados. Well, glad that's gone. Yeah, true, true. That was bad signs. Uh, anyways, uh, after that, we got Blissey, 28, which went up 8. So that's... I don't know. Like, I guess it can deal with... The, well, I don't know. I was going to say that it can deal with those Therian forms, but they usually carry superpowers, so I don't know. Thunderous doesn't. Sometimes it does. I carry superpower. What? Okay. Why okay. I, Why would it not carry superpower? Whatever, Spade. But, like, it's the better move for T-Tar and for Whatever, Blitzy. Spade. Well, but, but anyways, uh, Tornadoes does carry that, like, pretty much always. Oh, yeah. Focus Blast. Yeah, that does. Yeah, so... I, I wouldn't say uh, Thunderous does, though, but I guess I'm wrong. Well, sometimes it does. I see nothing wrong with the superpower on Thunderous. See, I've just never seen it, so... Yeah. But I... I... I guess you can still go with the Focus Blast, but I rather, when, when there's an option to not run Focus Miss, I usually tend to run the other move, the next best thing. But I HP guess fighting. that's just me. You run HP fighting? <laughs> I guess that would be an option as well. But you need the HP ice, so you can't. Why do you need HP ice? Yeah, why, why, do, why would you need that coverage? I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't see any problems. What are you drinking? Root beer. Beer? Root beer. Root beer. What? What kind of beer is that? It, it, it's it's not actually beer. It's just fake I beer. I don't even know what it is. It's just Google root beer. I, I will write after this. All right. Here, I'll Google it for you and give you a definition. It's a carbonated sweetened beverage originally made using the root of a sassafras plant as a primary color. And it's mo it's just like beer for kids and not really alcoholic. It's just a soda, <laughs> but it's I guess it's beery like Ah, oh, beer for kids. <laughs> you, could, you could drink that while riding a motorcycle. You and fucking... <laughs> I'm not even going to buy no. We totally got sidetracked, <laughs> but that tends to happen. Uh, whatever. Um, after Blizzy, though, number 29, we got Alakazam that went up 10. Holy crap. I have I have actually been seeing a few Alakazams lately. I'm, I mean, if you look at it, like, from face value, you don't really see why it would go up. I expect it to go down more, but I guess people are finding a use for it somehow, because it's like, it's outstood by Thunderous. It gets walled by Jirachi, uh, plus two Breelim destroys it. Um, I don't know. I just don't see why. Yeah, like, it can't switch into that slow, low sweep. And Tornadoes outspeeds it with that one base speed. One. Yep. Yep. I don't uh, get it. But, I don't know. Still a I good just... poke, but, like, yeah. now with the introduction with all sorts of good special attackers, including Genesect... Alakazam's rising kind of seems random. A little bit. A little bit. But yeah, last time it was number 39, so... Huh? Yeah. Oh, well. well. Yeah. Well, well, I guess that goes with the nine tails usage, so... Uh, I still think that Venusaur should be higher in general, but oh well. Yeah, it's one of the best abilities of Sun, so... Yeah. Now it has that Giga Drain going on for itself, but... Yep. Well, yeah, good to see it going up still, but uh, we'll see yeah. if that's going to con continue. 
It will as long as Sun keeps going up, but maybe they'll find a different thing to put in Sun instead of Venusaur, so Venusaur might drop down. Mm. But it's the main grass type chlorophyll user. You are there any others you know you Um, I think people are starting to randomly use Shift Tree now. Those hipsters. Yep. Oh. I remember a good times when uh, Shift Tree and uh Wolpix were in UU. <laughs> I remember uh, the times when um Latias and Mens were OU in fourth gen. Oh wait, no, they weren't good times. <laughs> <laughs> Those were good times. Oh. No, that metagame was imbalanced. Well, yeah. Scissor wasn't good enough. People ran HP Fire on that lot, you guys. And then... Yeah. I still, like, you'd think in Gen 4, like, T-Tar could deal with it just fine, but I guess there weren't enough other things. There was too much centralization. That was a problem. Yeah. Oh, uh, good Gen 4. Good old. Yeah. Anyways, uh, back to the subject at hand, hanging up the call. Chase, you can't do that. We got Cloyster going up four. Holy crap. What has happened to yeah, Cloyster? Um, it's random. Eh. Again, I guess it's because people are like, oh, they're in forms of these Cloyster to beat it, even though Cloyster still isn't that great. Yeah, because it really... Can't switch to those, but you know, I guess, I guess people want to want some sort of physical attacker for the rain, and I guess closer can fill in there. I, I guess. I guess. Whatever works for you. Indeed. Well, anyways, Hydreigon went up one, so. Okay. Good that, for that. Yeah. Still, the substitute Latios, Latios wanna be. Yeah. That is kind of. It's still just isn't kind it of, one base speed slower still than Genesect? Yeah. And then it's one base speed faster than Haxorus. That's how yep. it goes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So yeah, gotta watch out. You can't outspeed the. Uh, you cannot outspeed the freaking Genesect with Hydreigon. Basically. And that's bad news bears for ya. Uh. Anyways, Jolteon went down three. I guess Thunder is, is the main rain guy you want to yeah. be using. So there's that. And then Haxer is after that. That dropped eight. It's, dun, dun, uh, dun. I guess people are like, eh, let's try Superpower. Oh, wait, it's not actually that great. Oh, well. Yeah, and down it went. Uh, so it's, it's Haxorus. Let's just go with that. Yeah, the superpower indeed, like, didn't give it that much. It's a good move on it, but, um, still needs that fire type move. Didn't get it. Oh, well. People forget it. And there we go, Haxor is dropping down again. It's okay. We don't <laughs> need Haxor anyway, so we got Blackjack and Hookers. Oh, yeah. And then we also got Vaporeon that kind of looks like a Hooker. Mermaid thingy. Okay, then. Okay, then. That was random and really encore, but uh, we'll go with it. I think Spade is a thing for Vaporeon, guys. I've been using it for the longest of time. I had that awesome team with uh, Lantern and Vaporeon core thingy. It was good at the time, but now it doesn't really work anymore. Good for you. It was good. I really like that team. Good for you. Anyways... What are people doing with Vaporeon? I've seen some people abusing that uh, hydration thing, but uh, that's really I nothing have no new. Clue. And I don't know. Hydration rest is really nice, but eh. I have no clue. And good wish support, but still kind of random. But I guess with the rain going up, people are still using Vaporeon. Good for Vaporeon! Yep, good for it. All right. Chase, here's your brother. Brother from another mother. Jellison. Burungeru dropped seven. Oh. No. Good for it. But, but it's Burungeru. I don't know what you're talking about. But, but, but. Anyways, like, let's talk about Jellison. It's the, okay. it's kind of like the new Rotom in the metagame. Because Rotoms change to non-ghost types. 
that's what it's kind of doing. But what? Huh? I don't even understand block. what you're trying to say right now. In Gen Four, Rotom was the number one spin blocker, but now that it has changed into random other types, Burungeru is in to fill the place, kinda. In Gen Five. Okay. Is it is it not a good substitute spin blocker? What else do we have there in the meta game up there? You're just starting to make no sense now. I am I'm, totally making sense. I'm just trying to figure out what you're saying at this point. I'm, I'm, I don't even know. Jellison spin blocker. Just what about that, it? Just saying that it's kind of doing what Rotom kind of did in Gen Four. Not really. Well, still kind of. It's not quite the same, but okay. It has whatever. recover. Reliable what, what, recovery. What makes you sleep at night, Spade. Okay. This is awkward again. Just You're just being weird at this point. I know. But so, have fun with that. The chase. Anything to say about Jellicent? No, it's, it's Jellicent. It's just not that great right now. Or in general. Or anything. Are there any good other spin blockers used in the OU tier at the moment? I don't know. Probably not. I don't care. Most people deal with spinning just fine, so it's not like you really need a blocker. Unless you're, like, really hyper. Oh my god, I need to keep my hazards, like, seriously. My going. hazards! Yeah, that. So, that's when you use Jellison, but now people are not interested in my hazards. So it's Plus, dropping I down. A lot of the jealous and abuse was coming from the fact that people were thinking Keldeo would be a bigger threat. Oh yeah, there's that too. We but haven't even ran into Keldeo yet, but we will. Eventually. Eventually, yeah. Anyways, Lucario still dropping. It's 37 now. No. Down 3. No. No. Nah. I'm still kind of trying to make a team like around Lucario, but I've been kind of lazy. Too late mm. to make one. Because Lucario is, like, good. Like, you get up a sword stance and then you just go wreck town. It's okay, I guess. And, like, you can easily take down those stupid Therian forms with the uh, boosted sword stance E-speed and stuff. Yeah, but then after that... It's like the thing is then just getting the boost and be able to keep it and shit. Yeah, I guess. It's still kind of difficult to use, but I really want to build a good team around it, but maybe someday I will. Maybe. Or maybe never. Maybe never, because I'm usually too lazy to actually do any kind of team building, so... It's okay. I'm exactly the same. Yeah, so there's that. But, yeah, maybe one day. But after that, we got Don Fan. Eh, little a spinner. But Stop Fortress that. is kind of... Up there, and then we got Don Fan. Plus, then rain abuse, all the blah blah blah. Yeah, blah, blah. so not good days for Don Fan right now. Basically. Yeah. Uh, then we got Kongolder that actually didn't drop this time, it went up one. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. Well, I guess those elemental punches, mainly Ice Punch, are doing something for it. But, uh, yeah. Except not really enough. Yeah, not really enough. It's still kind of low OU. Still pretty shit. Yeah, kind of. I remember the hype when Black and White first came out and Kongolder was like super high there. But then, eh. Yeah, well, whatever. Whatever. Good times. And then Metagross. People are actually still using that thing. And it's still not you, you. Yeah, kind of surprised, but I guess people are like, hey, Metagross can do something. Yeah, but generally people just use Jirachi as the... Yeah. We, o we already saw the, 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 the bronze song dropping down to Yu Yu. Will Metagross be the next Steel Psychic type to do so? No, not for a while. Not for a while, but we shall see. How many Steel Psychic types are there, even? Psychic Steel. Uh, Cerebi, Cere come on, type properly. Okay, I'm gonna check. Alright. There's... Let's see, the Metagross line, Jirachi, 
Bronze Online, and that's it. That's it. Yep. Mm-hmm. And Rodri is kind of the best one. That's why it's up there. Then we got Metagross. And then Bronzong. Super high in usage. That was a long time ago. Yeah. Good times when Bronzong was over you. It was kind yeah. of high there too, but like then it just constantly kept dropping. Yep. Uh, and you had like HP eyes on it for the dragons and stuff. Oh... Uh, Anywho, Metagro is still hanging in there, and after that we got Magnuson that dropped 9, so... Because nothing is really giving a shit about it. Yeah. It's all like meh. Scissor and uh, freaking Ferrothorn are number 2 and 3. But it's easily enough checked where it's just like, no, it's not worth it. Yeah. It's just true. something else. True. It's besides the drafting thing, which is still kind of difficult to pull off with like you turning scissor and good yeah. players just double switching on the obvious blue magnezone switch ins. It's you know basically it's that. So yep, that that that's it for good old magnezone and it's drafting. And then we got the uh, number forty two. Celebi went down one. So eh. nothing worth noting about that. It's still beaten by everything. Yeah, but I can't say that uh, Genesect and uh, freaking Tornadoes are helping. Celebi. So yeah, Genesect being around now, that's just gonna hurt Celebi even more. Yeah. And after that, we got uh, Lander Therian, which dropped sixteen. Not really surprised there. Yeah, I mean, pretty sure that people were just, like, abusing the Therian forms for a while in general, but then Landorus especially just took too much of a hit. That was all, like, yeah. Yeah, we'll see how that's going to turn out in the uh, in the next usage. Is it is it going to just keep going down? Because, I don't know. People are kind of seeing Landorus, Therian, and uh, it's a good poke, but, uh, I don't know. It's, it's, meh. It's the weakest link of the Therian forms, so... Yeah. People are. It doesn't already... mean that it's still not good or anything. It's just that, yeah, it's a weakest link goodbye. Yeah. So that's it. Anyways, Doc Trio did will go up seven. So there's that. Yeah, I was kind of making that relation between Doug Trio and, uh, whatchamacallit, Genesect. So it's like. What, are you tra- what do you want to trap for, Genesect? Mainly, like. Uh, fucking Heatran. Oh yeah, true, true. And because otherwise, like Genesect can beat most things. Like maybe also trap like Blissey or something. I don't know. It's like it it just works in a sense, you know. Yeah, because but... you can you turn on the obvious Heatran switch in and then trap and kill it. Yeah. So there's that synergy going on. Yep. And off of that, Genesect can destroy everything, kind of. Basically. So, yeah. Anyways, Latias, number 45. It's Latias. Yeah, it's, it's Latias. It's interesting in Ubers, though, because it has the Soul Dew now, but, um, yeah. We can't use that in OU. What a shame. Yeah. It's Latias just doesn't have the right niche right now, so yeah, I just have to deal with it. Yeah, people just rather use more offensive Latios and then even that Hydreigon. Just use something useful. Yeah, yeah. So, anyways, after that, there we have it, Keldeo, number 46, and going down the whooping uh, 18 spots. Uh, oh, yeah, Keldeo. It's just like, yeah, it wasn't really that great in the first place, and I could already tell it wasn't, but it just took everyone else time to really catch up and realize, wait, it's, yeah. Yeah. So people realized it, and then people just moved on. It's, like, really powerful, like, with choice specs, hydro pump, and oh, stuff. I'm not saying like... it's not powerful. I'm just saying the metagame is, like, 
eh, for it, you know? True, true, true. And then it's kind of lacking that one coverage move that you kind of have to decide on with hidden power. Yeah, it's it's just meh. Yeah. Secret Sword is awesome, but like still not enough. And yeah. Really? With the missing coverage, like I said, so yeah, that, just, that's Keldeo. It just hurt too much by its lack of stuff. Yeah, and then there's tornadoes dealing with it and hurricaning and all that jazz. Although, eh. It's kind of easily revenge killable, so there's that. Yep. Anyways, after that, there's the regular lender still staying at uh, 47. Honestly, I think it should go up more. Yeah, it might soon switch places with the Therian form. Honestly, because it's, like, it's still a great Pokemon, and it's still people... I'm seeing more and more abuse of it just, like, kind of lately, as opposed to just before, but it's, like, just lately it's been really kind of climbing up slowly, but you don't see it in the usage, you know? Yeah, and, just, and it, now with the sand going up, you know, <clears throat> with sand forest going on for the landers, like, it's really good. And it has that 101 base speed, right? Yeah, it, it just can work really well, but it's, like, also, even if you wanted to run, like, a sheer force set... That works really well, too. Oh, yeah, I got the so. uh, special move pool now with Sheer Force yep. available, so that's pretty cool. But hasn't affected the usage at all, basically. Yeah. But at least it hasn't dropped, so that's a good sign. Yep. Because it ha doesn't have that much going on for it, with the other theory and forms going on rampage yep. in the tiers. But, yeah... That's Lander is for you. Other than that, we got Reuniclus dropping down 5, so it's now 48. But it's still, yeah. just, it's just been meh in general, and it's going to be more meh for a while, so... Yeah, it's kind Don't of... Don't count on it for anything. It's kind of mediocre Pokemon. Thanks. And, yeah. It's good for car mining and trick room and stuff, but... Still, there are enough ways to work around it. Basically. And like Scissor number two or three, was it? And then with Genesect around, that hurts oh, it Yeah, even. that too. So, so. not yeah. happy days for Reuniclus. Yep. And then Gastrodon dropped down three, so now, now it's 49. And, uh, eh, I don't know. Uh, I, I guess with the Therian forms also dropping down, and, well, mainly Thunder is also, like, dropping down, and... Gastrodon being Gastrodon. It's just also Breloom abuse. Oh, there's yeah, there's Breloom. It's just not great right now. So. Yeah. Just, yeah, don't even. And like, it, it doesn't really enjoy taking a Focus Blast from uh, plus two Thunderers anyway, so. And it doesn't. It just doesn't enjoy taking a lot of the hits that are being presented now, so. Yeah, so it's not that good of a rain counter like it used to be. Basically. But, so, um... Just, uh, just count it out, basically, starting now. Yup. So, after that, we got Deoxys Defense going down one. Which, honestly, I thought it'd be a bit higher, but I guess people just are like, eh, let's try and not use Hyper Offense, or maybe Hyper Offense is just failing lately, who knows. Yeah. But it's still a solid OU with, like, uh... 4.1% usage. Yeah, it's... It's whatever. Oh, wait. I'm checking the four, wrong one. 4.4, uh, actually, now. That was last month. All right, 4.4. Yeah, Deoxys... It's still used decently enough, but still, it's just like, eh. Yeah. We'll see. But it finally made its way to OU, so we'll have to see if it's going to be sticking longer. Longer in there. Yeah. But, after that, we got Toxic Croak, which went down three, so now it's number 51. Yeah, it's... Yeah, I've been seeing it a bit more. I mean, it got the excess of Drain Punch and SD on the same set, I think, so... It, it's... And that Ice Punch, was it, also? Yeah, something yeah, like that. that. I don't know, I don't but... Know. It, it's just like... Sure, it got a couple boosts, but at the same time, it's still just 
it's way too easy just to hit and kill and just wreck. Yeah, and tornadoes kind of can do that. Yep. And just in general, I guess even Lander's theory and like going intimidate and EQing it and stuff. But yeah, it's just not great. Yeah, it has been kind of dropping down lately a lot. And uh, it's yeah. possibly one of the next UU Pokemon. Yeah, potentially. I think it's been like potential for a long time, but a lot of people just aren't, or they're just not letting go of it yet or something. Yeah, but it's been dropping down a lot. I don't remember it, like when it last went up or anything, because it's been kind of being down there for the longest of time. Yeah. But yeah, we'll see. It's like a couple of months until Smogun makes their changes to tears again, right? Uh, Is it in December? I think December. Yeah, so it has time until then, so we'll see how things are going yeah. to work out. After that, we got... Um, well, Chansey, Hippowdon, and Obama Snow, they all stayed at the same places. Yeah, they're all just kind of like... Mm, let's see. Well, hip, well, Obama Snow, actually, if you go look at the usage stats, it's right before 3.4, or right below 3.4. Oh, so yeah, 3.4. Obama Snow yeah. has a chance of going BL. Again. Yeah. So, but, that being said, Hippowdon is now, or would be, the last OU. Yeah, so it's 53 Pokemon in OU, but Chansey, Obama Snow, or Chansey and Hippowdon, they're just kind of like... You know, Chansey's kind of the same thing as Blissey, but Blissey just has that leftovers, which is making it a bit more useful. And then Hippo, it's just like too many things can just kill it really quick. Yeah, Plus I guess, you know, it's when. Huge it's... sleep fodder, so. Yeah, yeah. true, true. And. and like, then... yeah. Well, Hale there's just... Reloom to deal with, like, Hippo and Chansey. I, well, well, even those, but. Like, it's kind of interesting that, well, yeah, like, well, like you said, uh, Blissey has the lefties going on, so yeah. I guess now it's people not... are just, you know, using that more, but, uh, yeah. Yeah. But then it's like, whatever for everything else. It's just like, whatever now. All right. So those are the same. Then Kingdra is now number 55, going up once. Yeah. Eh. Just whatever. Mew went down once, so Kingdra and Mew sw swapped places. Chandelure yeah. went up one and Slowbro down one, so they switch places. Victini yeah. went up seven. I guess yeah. the sun abuse. I guess people are using Victini yes. a bit more. So it's number it's 59 now. Yes. But still not that close to OU. But uh, yeah. how much does it have in the usage? 2.2, so long way to go. Yep. And then number 60, we got. Swampert that went up to, so okay. That that's that. But uh, anyways, do we have any interesting pokes? Among Us probably dropped a bit. It's number sixty-three it's right now. Three. Last time uh, it uh, was OU material. So I guess it's gonna be you, you now. Yeah, and I guess with the Keldeo dropping, that people were kind of hyped about countering Keldeo. And, and then, they and then they were like, oh, Moongus isn't it, actually that great. Whoops. Yeah. Oh, folks. It's was, still a good poke, oh, but... Moongus uh, isn't even... I just looked in UU. Moongus is 1.8% use, used in UU. <laughs> really? Uh, yeah. Where is it? It's number 63. Among Us. Yeah. So... 63. And, oh, it's not even... In RU, it's fucking 1.9%, number 67. So I guess Amoongus is gonna stay in you. Yeah, apparently. Apparently so. Guess who was fucking right. Good for you, Chase. Yep. Saved your life. No thanks are necessary. Indeed you did. But people were kind of focusing on using it in OU, and it actually was OU technically last month. So then people just never really used it in the lower tiers that much, and now it's kind of like going in the limbo. It lost its thunder because it never had good thunder to begin with. Yeah. 
So, I was right. You were wrong. Well, you just as in people in general, so... Uh, do, 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 do. What else do we go over? Uh, Ditto is number 64. In yeah, overview. it's people are realizing Ditto is just like, oh, it's a Ditto. Okay. That's cool. Like, honestly, Ditto is just like, it's only as good as the tier it's in, so personally, I think it just should just be allowed in all tiers. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, but... Is it, is it in UU tier? Well, it was classified as NU when it came out, so... Yeah, but that... where is it in the UU list at the moment? Uh, looking... It's actually 75. Oh. Damn. Yeah, it'll probably stay in you then. Yeah, most likely. That, that's pretty cool. There was, like, so much hype about imposter Ditto. Yeah, Ditto is 35 in NU. Let's see where it's at in RU. Oh, Ditto is 79 in RU. So, yeah, it's going to be staying down there. <laughs> yep. Wow. But, uh, yeah, so... What else that's... do we have? Anything? Where's that, uh, the, the, the other thing that was released that kind of sucks? The singing thing with the... Meloetta? Yeah, that thing. Meloetta. Yeah, where did that even go? It's number 90. You know? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, it's just so gimmicky. Dangly parts. <laughs> That's a good reference. Anyways, um, I don't know, I just... The nudity that, makes yeah. you stronger in this planet. But, uh, yeah, fucking, uh... Meloetta, it's just like, yeah, no. What does your hair compensate for? Nothing. Nothing. Not even the dangly part. It's not long enough to do so. Sure. <laughs> Anyways, uh... Well, yeah, that, that's about it for the OU. Yep. 